Introducing out of the red corner, his record, perfect. All victories coming by way of knockout. Proudly representing his hometown of Toledo, Ohio. Jerry, the real big baby, Anderson. The most highly touted current heavyweight. And the big left hand will end the night. It is over. I mean, that was pure power from Jared Anderson. Is he the next great? Heavyweight. Texas is the home of two of the greatest names in heavyweight boxing, Jack Johnson and George Foreman. It also happens to be the new home to someone touted as the next great American heavyweight. I just so happened to be in the neighborhood, so I figured I'd stop on back. Introducing Roy Jones Jr. Oh, yeah. And Rose's down at the bell. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Big time laugh and Wolf's in trouble. Roy Jones ends the night. 21 and 0 with 20 knockouts. Thomas Tate in the white trunk with a black stripe and he's down flat on his back. Roy Jones Jr. with a sensational performance. Hey. And there's no better way to find out what makes this prospect tick than to get back to my country roots. It's been a long time, but I... All right. There we go. Pick him up. <clears throat> if you put your weight on that a little bit, here you yeah. go. Straight. Yep, yeah, that's good. Oh, she already know what to do. <laughs> All right, we cool then. Open that gate for me. So look, you grew up in Toledo, Ohio, right? What made you move out here to uh, Houston? There's a lot of gang violence. Gang uh, violence? Yeah, there's a lot of gang violence. Um, there's a lot of bodies dropping. It got difficult, it got hard. It started to hit home a lot. You know, I lost a lot of homies. I lost a, fr a lot of friends and stuff like that, so. It was just hard being around that and trying to find motivation and stay clear-headed and clear-minded um, during those times. Boxing helped me calm everything down. Boxing helped me stop everything and slow everything down so that um, I could understand where I was going in life. Right. Um, and what I needed to do, what was important to me. My family was important to me and taking care of them and, you know, um, providing. Anderson is making his pro debut, just 19 years of age. They call him Big Baby, a two-time U.S. national gold medalist. Anderson just manhandling Infante here in the opening minute of this fight. Infante goes down with a left hook to the body. I say he ain't getting up from that body type. Quick work in his pro debut, Jared Anderson. Welcome to the Big Show. This is where I grew up, man. That's my house. That's, that's home. It's truly home. I made every memory in the house. It's, it's my house right there. This is it, man. This is my first room. This is my first room, the first room I grew up in, man. This is it. Oh man, this is a real memory. This had to be middle school. So I was the youngest. So these probably are my hands. Right? Oh yeah, that, yeah, I think that is my hand. We got a couple of little things up here that I still didn't even remember. I had it here. All right, so boom. This was 2017, youth year, on the USA travel team. Um, I won the Brandana Cup and I won best fighter of the tournament. So I definitely, you know, did my thing. 91 kilograms, best fighter. 2014 Toledo Golden Glove champion. 2018, man, this was the elite year. 2013, I remember this like it was yesterday. Oh yeah, my original, my original, original, very first boxing gym. And this is one of the shows we threw in 09. 09, 
stuff like this could be a museum. Y'all could just come here and see this. Like, oh man, he had a bookshelf in this room and everything. Man, a lot of accomplishment, a lot of memories, just a lot of life in this house, man. I miss this. My mom started me out in this boxing. She never let me give up. And she's one of the biggest reasons that I'm here. So she's a huge part of my motivation. After a dominant amateur career, including the 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018 National Amateur Heavyweight Championships, from Toledo, Ohio, the real big baby, Jared Anderson. Toledo, Ohio, stand up. Your man is 3-0 with three knockouts. So what's your plans in boxing? Get in and get out. <laughs> get in and get out. Get in and get out. OK, OK, OK. I don't want to let the game make me. You right, know, I don't right, 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 right. I want to fall victim to the game, man. So what, I you, just, what you mean when you say that, though? I feel like I put everything I had into it, because I know I got so much more. Right. You know, my parents instilled in me in a long time ago, when I was a, a real young child, that I was going to do something great, you right. know, because right. of who I was, not right. because of what I did. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. The person I was, who I was going to reach, who right. I was going to touch. So I, I just know I got so much more potential to do other stuff than just boxing. Boxing does not, does not complete me, you know what I'm saying? So, so you're saying you want to be the best at boxing, but you ain't trying to stay at a pool, no legacy and all that. Yeah, 100%. All right, gotcha. So <laughs> you get in, beat who you want to beat, get the titles you want to get, then you go. 100%. <laughs> Come on. Six rounds. Good luck. Touch gloves now. Let's go to work. His average fight as a pro early on here has lasted only 98 seconds. Anderson is plowing into that flank. That is it. TKO victory, Jared Anderson, round number three. What motivates me is money and providing for my family. Just being able to have stability in this world. I want to use boxing for what it's for and then be able to flourish in my other opportunities in life so that I can flourish with my family. What's been the toughest fight you had so far? I say my toughest fight is outside the ring. I, I wouldn't even say it's in, been inside the ring. I ain't had no difficult professional fights. Um, all my professional fights have been just staying the course, which is really my hardest fight right now so far in life. Right. You know, just staying the course and, and being who I am, trying to stay true to who I am, but keeping a, a steady, you know, clear mind, you know, to the top. I can't let other people and things deter me off my track. The people who made it out of Toledo was the people who left. Got away. Exactly. It, was, it wasn't the people who stayed. The people who stayed... Got caught up in the system of living there. Yep. Or got, or got stuck in the mentality that Toledo was as big as you could go. You know, and once I, I left Toledo, I noticed that Toledo was only this big in this world. You know, so I, I figured I could go much farther. Good. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Toledo and the village alone has helped me so much just alone by supporting me and backing me, you know. People work their butts off to help me get where I am. Jared is capable of becoming the next undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Perez is done, and Anderson has himself a first round knockout. The easy work. Explode, explode up, explode up. <laughs> there you go. That's good work. That's good work. I'm willing to do what others want. I'm willing to go above and beyond. I'm willing to break myself down to build myself back up. I know what I'm capable of. I'm probably one of the baddest people to ever lace up a pair of gloves. A big left hand from the real big baby, and this fight is over. Well, the critics keep waiting for Jared Anderson to have to extend his fights beyond one or two rounds. We winning that work, now we winning. Hey, it's my family, man. My people I grew up with, love them, man.
You gonna come up the hill? You go that way, you gonna come up the hill. How many times y'all doing it? Twice. Twice. King of the ring, don't oh, tell me I'm not. Walk up here. Hands blow out. Oh, I'm calling the shots. A beast in the streets, the MVP for heat. Her boss on the court, nothing else to be taught. Uh, yeah. It's my family, it's my home. It's my roots. Call me number one. Where I was raised at, man. It's everything to me. Yo, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That's good work, that's good work. Good job, good job, good job. I fight for my fam. Family is who you make your family. Family ain't always blood. None of these people behind me blood, but they all family. Toledo, it's my family. Who's going to eat it? Jared, the real big baby, Anderson! My toughest opponent was eBay because of his strength. He was probably one of the strongest fighters that I have fought so far. The first punch he hit me with, it caught me off guard. It made me readjust and I had to be patient. Anderson is systematically beating on eBay, slowly breaking them down. You are potentially watching the future American heavyweight, baby. I had to ease my way into that fight. I had to break him down physically so that I didn't get clipped and that I came out victorious. And he's absorbing a lot of punishment and a big left hand will end the night. Jared Anderson, eight for eight, explosive finish. He's still out, Joe. He's still out. Hurt bad. Somebody hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. You want that? Just, just pep that, pep that. See that? Okay. You're not trying to run him off. If I'm easing your hand, and I'm just, ah, ah, you ain't running from that. Right. They, 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 they don't, they don't feel dangerous. He gonna walk right to the right hand. Hello. You heard me? Yeah. You heard me? Okay, so, you go right Let me see you move and make that thing smooth like that for a second. Mm hmm. Get that weight back. That is. That is. That is. <laughs> well, if you just make it easy for him where it seems like it's not dangerous, he'll stay there. And what is dangerous is that straight right hand or that left hook. Mm -hmm. If he'll stay there, I can get that. Right. He runs, it makes it harder for me to get it. That's how you gotta look at that. Huh? All right? Okay. Tricks of the trade. Right. Other thing, when you get that bicep, what you do next? There you go, there you go. Yeah, most times in a row. See, hey, he got it all down, Pat, bro. You know why you roll, right? Yeah, you get, you get away from any hook. Yeah, and and you get away right. from anything coming that way. Well, actually, so I'm, I'm, I'm my per se reason to roll is because right. when I throw my hook, yeah, yeah. and I'm you coming, coming up here, exactly. I'm making sure I'm doing exactly. this anyway, so that exactly. all this is here. He ain't got I'm a chance. On, you feel me? Exactly right. Exactly. You own it. You own it. For a heavyweight, that says a lot because not many heavyweights even think on that level. You understand me? So for you to be that far ahead of the game already as a heavyweight, it's gonna be very rough for anybody to deal with you. And that scores a knockdown. That right hand to the body by Anderson. Same spot. Go. You wanna get him out of there. That's it. Too much, he said. I got you the same spot. Then Jared Anderson, 9 0, 9 knockouts. Can Jared Anderson get him out of here in the second round and make the statement that he wanted? Jerechkin looks off to the referee, and it is over. It is a round two TKO, Jared Anderson. Teslenko crumbles to the ground. Pure power from Jared Anderson. 11 knockouts. Get this thing. So we step at the same thing. Step, step. Ready, step, Do it again now. Step. See that? Do it again now. Do it again now. Now make it a hook instead. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it two times. Do it three times. You know what I'm saying? That's the order. That's what you get your speed from. Now get down to the lower stance. Now you're talking. Now when you do it, turn that shoulder a little bit. Do it again. One, two. Turn that shoulder a little bit. Do it again. Turn that shoulder a little bit. Do it again. Now we're talking. Do it again. Now two times. Two times. That's right. When the feet hit, you hit. Do it again. Now we talk three times. Don't hit with my hand that fast. Now we talk two times. You know what I'm saying? Three times. You know what I'm saying? Something's that. Turn that shoulder. Now we talk. Huh? Huh? All right. <laughs> okay. There it is. From the champ. To the champ. Thank you, thank you. My love for the sport came from the love and the brotherhood in it. 
boxing is one of the loneliest sports in the world, and it just feels good sometimes to have the people around you to know what it feels like. Hands like Pam, like Sonny Liston. Hands like Pam. Here he come. Left hand, here he come. With a hook. With a left hand. Jab, jab. Left, right. Left, right, left, right. Jab, jab. You crawled out the dirt. That's right, working, Jay. Huh? Ain't no stopping us now. We on the freight train, huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To the top. Let's go. Up there. Everybody gonna be front row. Okay. Center stage. Each one, teach one. Huh? Okay. They didn't want us to make it, but we did. They didn't want us to make it, but we did. Murderer's row, that's what I'm calling it. Murderer's row. Top amateur all the way to pound for pound. Yeah. Here he is. One, two. Special. One, two. One, two, half step. Here he is. Yes. Ah. ah! Way to work. Yeah. Ding. Yeah. Way to work. Making the money is more important to me in boxing because it can create generational wealth. It can, can create a job for all of my family members. It can create a job for all of my friends. I can change whole communities. I can change whole cities with the power of generational wealth. I believe I can go back to Toledo and change my entire neighborhood with just a million dollars and just change how people think. In that first round, Jared Anderson threw over 100 punches. This fight is over. Jared Anderson stomping his way to victory. Chopped down the forest. Jerry Forrest done in two. Arias in trouble against the ropes. Right hand comes in. That's it. Jared Anderson, he's ready for the top echelon of the heavyweight division. Stand down for it, and that's why I am where I am. Today, we're coming out to Elsick Senior Decision Day, great event. Uh, Jerry Big Baby Anderson, the champ, got to stop by and come motivate. Representation is important. I feel like anytime you have people like Big Baby that comes and gives back, it's the reminder that hey, if he can do it, we can do it too. So the fact that he stops and comes to give time back to the community anytime he's in town training. Uh, is a big, big thing, especially for the kids. I think they appreciate it. Because kids always know if you're being authentic or if you're faking. And Jared's definitely not faking, stopping what he's doing. Because he flip flop slides, comfortable. He didn't come in with the, the big jury. He just came in regular, normal, how they are, and they respect that. So, one thing I do want to ask you what stopped you from falling victim to all the extra stuff, all the fast cars, all the beautiful women, you know, going to different countries. And what what didn't deter you from, you know, staying focused into your craft? Like you are right now, you want to make the money to change the world, right? right? In order to make the money to change the world, you got a choice to make. You can take chances, drink, party, smoke, bad women, fast cars, motorcycles, all those things are risky as to stop you from getting where you want to go. My mom, my parents, they instilled in me as a kid who I was and what I would be. That I was going to change something, that I was going to be better. I was going to be different, period. And boxing is never going to make me not be that. I know I'm good at this and I know I can have fun in this, but like, this might not just be what completely make me happy. Well, I'm gonna say it like this. The higher power gave you more. When there's more given, more is expected. So guess what? 
Jerry has an obligation to the higher power, to all of those back in Toledo where he came from, to his mother, to succeed. That's just the obligation that comes with it. You let a lot of people down if you quit right now. People that love you for real. Some people that'll give their life for you. Cause your mama give her life right now for her son. You understand that? But it's the, it's the pressure though. I understand the pressure, but God built us different. Do you just tell me that? And I'm 23. So sometimes there's a lot put on us, but it's put on us because we're the ones that can take it. Jared may not think he can sometime. Jared may get messed up sometime, but Jared can wear these shoes. That's why Jared has it. You understand me? But Jared ain't asked for it. Too bad. Jared has a destiny that Jared can't run from. And Jared ain't no coward, I already know that. Right? So Jared may as well make up his mind and let's go. You gotta ride that horse, son. I'm sorry. You gotta ride that horse. I rode it. You ain't got to ride it till the wheels come off, but you got to ride it. You understand me? You got to ride it till you get where you want to be in life, then you can get off of it. But well, we're going to ride that horse. That's just what we got to do, all right? Ah, my man. My man. The saying goes, winning isn't everything, but we all know that doesn't always ring true. Now, I've been around long enough to know that talent alone is not enough to make it to the top. It takes hard work, dedication, and it also takes having the right team around. Jared Anderson possesses all the ingredients for success. Despite his growing fame and the attention he's receiving, he remains grounded and focused. For Jared, it's not just about championships and accolades. His legacy is rooted in his home, his family, and giving back to those around him. Using his success and fame to bolster a community and inspire the next generation. And in that process, Jerry earned the right to carry the torch for American heavyweight boxing. But one knows that right does not come without consequences. Each victory, no matter how small, is met with another challenge and another and another. And add to that, the weight of an entire nation placed the top of your shoulders. It's a lot. Look, it's easy to get caught up in expectations, the hype, and the outside opinions. But Jared, Jared knows that he can't let that distract him from his goals. He knows that to be great, he has to stay true to himself. He's the future of American heavyweight boxing. Ta-da! And I'm excited to see his journey unfold. So mark my words, people. Remember the name, Jared Anderson.